am very excited to get started today. Um, I don't know why my uh, layout keeps uh, resetting itself, but that's fine. Um, okay, so I just finished uh, posting on a bunch of social sites, so I am done with that as of now. Let's see what this notification is. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, Amazon wasn't loading for me. Oh well. Okay, so the thing to look at is going to be uh, these working on areas right here. So I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go into the app <coughs> and. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, cool. So I'm going to close this for now. And uh, oh, yeah, I'll post here too. Live streaming on Twitch. Come hang out. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, I should probably change my, um, I should probably change my, uh, about section, because I think this is, hmm, no, I don't know, I don't know why it didn't show up, um, anyways, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, the first thing is, we, so we made a bunch of improvements lately to the framework. Um, so we've added the ability to, so th to basically have this describe an entire web application right here. And this is including the heading. Uh, I guess we should have like um, a default style for the button. So um, just to make it look nice. So I'm gonna go into Assets, SAS, main, or no, buttons here. And I'm going to just say button, comma. And that should take care of this. Two, three. Okay, cool. And then we have the list of to dos. Um, okay, so <coughs> right now this, this represents an entire uh, web app uh, in Remake. And you don't even really need like this part at all, uh, really. Um, but I guess it's kind of nice to have. But I don't know how much we're going to have of that in our demo code, because I think our demo code ultimately is going to look like... Uh, look like... Because we want to keep it as short as possible. So we're, I think we're going to do this. We don't even need that. So we're gonna have for each uh, data dot to do's <coughs> and then item name equals to do and then this and then that and then that and then this and then this. So the thing the, the thing I need to test right now is um, in the data, uh, I wonder if I'm streaming weird no one has joined yet. I guess that's fine. Okay, so uh, let's go into remake data and we're gonna look at the currently logged in user, which is Kate, and we're gonna, going to remove all of this data. So we're just gonna have an empty object. And the thing I wanna test here is, yep, it's not gonna work, okay. So why isn't it working? Cannot read property map of undefined. Okay, so this makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna go into the framework and we're gonna go into, um, we're gonna go into, lib, or yeah, this is the backend code and we're gonna go into custom handlebar helpers. So right here, we're trying to map over some empty data, uh, I believe. 
Yeah, I believe it's undefined. Not really map of undefined, exactly, yep. So we're gonna say, if there's no context, then I think we're not gonna do anything. I think we're going to return an empty string. I'm not sure if that's the right approach, but um, let's try it. Okay, nice. And now if I add it to do, it does work. Okay, so even with no data, so this is important, even with no data here, um, <coughs> the page will render and this uh, custom handlebars helper for each item is going to be called. So um, let's describe this uh, real quick. So this is a custom helper that a custom like for each helper that uh, adds the item it loops over. Uh, no, no, a custom. Okay, a custom helper that loops over some items. Um, and then like important uh, this uh, if you um, <clears throat> if you pass in a named rem called item name this will be this can be referred to later by a data i new attribute. Okay, cool. So if you pass in a named parameter called item name, uh, you can refer to this name, the value, uh, I don't know, named value. You can refer to its name later uh, in a data I new attribute in order to render a new item on the page. Um, okay, so let's indent this a little bit. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Not the best documentation string I've ever written, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll go like this instead. Okay. Okay, that's, that's much better. Okay, so that that works good. I was a little worried about that. I was a little worried that if there was no data passed into it, right, like here, then um, it wasn't gonna try to even render itself once. And so if it didn't do that, we weren't gonna be able to get the uh, context function to render it again. Uh, hey, Freddy Bot. Hey, Commander Root, how's it going? <coughs> How are you guys doing today? What's, uh, what's up, what's on your mind? Okay, so now if we add it to do, we can see that it comes in here. Now that's, that was, that was weird. Um, let's delete this again. It just popped in a different style for this. I don't know why that was, that was so weird. <laughs> that was so incredibly weird. I don't know what to do about that. To class to do's. I guess we can look in our SAS file and just look at to do's. No, I think, I don't know. Was that some kind of weird caching thing or something? What was going on? What happened with that? Oh, so, we, oh, I think we had this, right? This was the current state of things. So let's refresh. Huh. 
I don't know. I don't know what that was. Okay, so anyways, um, the next part, uh, so yeah, actually let's commit this to GitHub. So let's do remake framework and let's say uh, fix bug with for each item. Uh, so it doesn't throw an error uh, when no data is passed. Hey Android, how's it going? Uh, I'm not sure there's a lot of people here yet. I think it's just a, a few people. Um, but yeah, I'm, do I'm doing good. How are you? Is the uh, music too loud? Or is it kind of... Can you barely hear it, or is it okay? <clears throat> it's a bit too loud? Okay. Um, how about that? Oh, nice. Is it, would you prefer it even lower? Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, playing some squad. I've actually never heard of that game. Is that an FPS? <clears throat> Sorry, I really shouldn't cop so much on, on stream. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing in order to get <clears throat> our dream to do app to, to working, no, to, uh, oh, nice. Oh, okay, cool. So you're like working with uh, some other people to like try to accomplish a mission and like telling them when it's clear and like when to go and like hiding behind things. And is it pretty like realistic? <clears throat> That's really cool. That sounds awesome. It sounds like that would be uh, like addictive, you know, to like work on work on a problem with people and like be on a team. That's pretty cool. That's why I play video games too, actually, is because I love just like the teamwork and like helping people and trying to solve a problem together. Kind of a, a little addicted to that. <coughs> um, okay, so the next part to get this closer to like our ideal is we don't want this part right here. We don't want this selector. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna close this other stuff and we're gonna look at the <coughs> the new attribute. Okay, so we're gonna go into the framework code and we're gonna go into the front end framework code, so client side, and we're gonna go into uh, adding item event listener. You have to take it slow. No 360, no scopes, run and jump kills, really take cover, take your time, build up bases, etc. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to play um, Counter-Strike back in the day, so I know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, the game I play a lot now is um, kind of a, what do you call it, a third player? Like you're, like you're kind of zoomed out from the map. It's kind of like a strategy game. Uh, called Dota. It's pretty popular, Dota 2. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, with that game, you do have to take your time, and you have to kind of, like, play it smart. The people that just kind of, like, rush are the people that end up getting the team killed. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, for this, I think we're going to do um, like other args here. So we're not going to have selector or position anymore. So we should have other args here. <coughs> and then um, so yeah, what happens if I do, uh, let 
um, dot dot is it dot dot yeah a equal an empty array is it triple dot I think it's triple dot okay there we go so now a is an empty array okay and if I put like one two three oh um okay b and then b okay okay that makes sense so it'll be an empty array <clears throat> so i want to say and three dots so i want to say if um oh yeah and we need the um other args we need the not the template name the uh Position and the selector, right? I think that those are the two. So selector and position. And we're going to say if other args um, length is equal to zero, uh, then we're going to default to, hey, uh, Luguero and Angel of Light, uh, how are you, how are you uh, both doing? Uh, what are you up to today? Um, so we're going to say if other args length is zero, then we're going to default to the selector of of, and I don't think I need to have a position. So let me see. I don't think it's required. So I'm checking for it here, and it looks like I default to before end, which is fine. And then here, yep. So I don't need position. So I'll just say I'll, for selector, I'm going to default to uh, data o type equals list. <coughs> and I guess position I don't even need, right? <coughs> um, okay, but we might need it here. So we're going to loop through these if we do have them. And we're going to say arg. So now we have each arg. <clears throat> so I believe we're going to say like if arg, or you know what we could do? We could we could make an array here, and we could say um, so the possible positions are top and bottom. So we're going to say top and uh, bottom. And then I believe it's includes. Yeah. So we're going to say includes. And we're going to say uh, arg. Then we're going, if so if this is true, so if arg is equal to either top or bottom, <coughs> then we're going to, I guess this isn't actually super clear. It's actually pretty much just as easy to say arg equals top or arg equals bottom. <laughs> but, uh, bottom. Uh, bottom. Okay. Then we're going to say position is equal to arg. <coughs> and then else we're going to say uh, selector is equal to arg. Um, so that I think that should cover everything pretty much. So now I shouldn't need this to do because it's just going to look for the closest data O type list, I believe. <coughs> right. So this, if we do a query selector all for this, or a query selector, uh, query <laughs> query selector. Uh, then we're going to get this one. It, uh, question, if, is that if statement equal sign a special character or just three times? Yeah, it's just three times the equal character. Um, my uh, text editor converts it into a, a nice looking <laughs> equal sign, dep depending on how you, how you, uh, if you like that or not. But um, it's a font, it's a font you pay for called, uh, what is it called? 
Dank Mono. So there's another font that does this that's um, very expensive. And then Dank Mono, I believe, is not super expensive. It's still a, <laughs> a little expensive. Yeah, it's like $40. But it it's just nice for uh, coding because um, it's, I don't know, it's designed for retina displays, I guess, if that matters to you. But it'll just like turn like characters into like nice looking things, you know, like like this stuff here. Uh, the, the zero, you know, has a, a slash through it. Um, oh yeah, and like some things are like it italicized, which some people really like, and I'm, I'm one of them. I really like that a lot. Um, yeah. But I think my comments are supposed to be italicized or something, and they're not. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a decent thing. Oceanic next. I do like this color scheme. This is kind of cool. Let's try installing a new <laughs> color scheme. <laughs> uh, Oceanic next. Oh. Wait, there's a italic one too. Um, do, 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 do. <clears throat> Oceanic next. I don't know, I guess we try this. And then, um, syntax. Or no, I do have JavaScript Babel installed. Uh, so color scheme, color scheme, oceanic, next. Wait, what? That doesn't look at all like what I wanted. What happened to my, <laughs> what happened to this? This looks ugly as heck. What's my current? One. Uh, dark blue. Okay, so my current one is Atomic Dark Blue Soft. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's actually really important to me that it matches and it looks good. This is kind of nice, right? I kind, of, I kind of actually like this. It's like very, I don't know, 90s or something, but it's kind of fun. I don't know, I'd probably break your eyes. <laughs> yeah? Should I go with that? Wait, what happened to Oceanic Next? Wait, why isn't it here in this lit? Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, so Oceanic Next. It's ugly as heck, what the heck? No, like seriously, what? <laughs> Oceanic Next. Th is it, am I wrong? Is this the same? I guess it's the same. I feel like mine is like all blurry, <laughs> you know? Huh. Uh, and everyone has it just for like Atom and VS Code, which is whatever. Oceanic Plus, I don't know, that sounds a little, nah, whatever, I'm not changing it. Uh, well, okay, there was one that we thought was kind of cool. Uh, what was it? This one? This is crazy. <laughs> this is actually crazy. What? I feel like I can hardly read it, you know? 
I don't know about this, but I, oh, I do get the italic, italicized, um, you know, uh, comments. Man, now I'm going to spend the next, like, three hours looking for color schemes. Um... Let's just, uh... No. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. Can I go back? This one. There we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, so this should work. So if we add... Nice. So even though we don't have a selector specified here, we're still adding to the nearest one. Now we're able to edit everything. Uh, and it works. Okay, nice. So we just... Um, added a feature to allow um, so uh, data I knew shouldn't shouldn't require a selector uh, default to adding to the closest list okay boom um, just make sure I didn't do anything weird do, 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 do. That all looks good. I think that's good. I, I don't really know. I mean, I didn't really test this one. Uh, I guess I could, yeah, let's test that one real quick. So let's do to do and then say top. And then if I do, if I refresh, it should add it to the top instead. <laughs> it did not. Okay, so good thing I uh, tested it. So um, insert adjacent HTML of null. So, so it never gets the list element. Really? Get, cannot... Wait, say that one more time. Where is it? Create property insert adjacent HTML of null. Okay, so yeah. It, can't, it doesn't get the list element. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Why would this affect that? Isn't that super weird? No, I don't know. I, I don't think you guys should necessarily know if it's weird or not. Um, let's put a, a debugger here. And one, two, three, refresh. And we're going to add, and we've got the debugger, find in parents, trigger element. Okay, selector. Selector is undefined. Okay, perfect. So this is a case where... Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. I need to do a little bit more thinking here because I didn't set the selector here. So, so I, I, sorry, I didn't set the selector to the default here. So what I want to say, I think... So, yeah, okay. So I want to I want to say let index of position equal other args index of um, can I do index of Multiple JS. Okay, you can't. Of course, you can't. Okay, so we're going to do index of top, and that's going to give us a number, so like zero through whatever, or negative one. So we're going to say index of top equals uh, like negative one. So this means it's not found. Then, uh, so if it's not found, we're going to say bottom. <laughs> um, this is hard. I mean, it's not that hard, but 
So we're going to say index of top Okay, then we're going to do index of bottom. And then we're going to, so then we're going to do else <laughs> index of top. So we're going to get something, uh, yeah, so let's do index of top. And I don't know, we actually don't need that. Okay. It is slightly less efficient, but very slightly. Um, okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna get something. We might get ne negative one, we might get one, we might get zero, like, or we might get greater than one or whatever, right? So we wanna say um, if index of position doesn't equal uh, negative one, so if it is found, then we're gonna do a, spl a splice, so uh, splice. So start, delete, count, and then items. So we're going to do, um, and it's going to return the item that it cuts out, right? So we're going to say like zero, one. Yeah, and then it'll give us, oh, it gives us back an array, huh? That's weird. No, I, that makes sense, right? Because it's splicing the array. So like if, if we had like two, three, uh, yeah, okay, so it gives us back an array. Okay, so um, so we're going to have uh, other args, splice, and we're going to do, um, so we know it's in there, right? So we're going to do uh, index of position and then just one, and then we're going to do position is equal to this, right? Uh, nope. We got so we know it's in there, so it's safe to do this with the zero. Right? So we're just gonna grab this, the first item because we're just cutting out one, so it's gonna return it as a one item array. So it's totally safe to do this at this point. We don't have to do any other error handling or anything like that, um, as far as I can tell. Okay, so it's because we, yeah, we know it's in there. Okay, so then the next one and we are modifying this array in place, which is usually kind of a bad practice, but we're not actually using this anywhere else, so that's fine. Okay, and it's actually a good thing because now we can say if um, other args length is greater than zero, um, then we're gonna know that the remaining argument is the selector. So then we'll have a selector. However, <clears throat> if it's not greater than zero, if it's zero, then we're just gonna, we're gonna default it, right? So we're gonna default to this. Boom, much more complicated than what we had before, but it actually works now. Or I think it will. Okay, so let's refresh here. Oh, we have a, do we have a debugger still? Debugger, we do. Okay, let's delete that. Okay, uh, Stockholm, Sweden, welcome to the chat. Lurks, welcome to the chat. Uh, how are you guys doing? What are you up to today? What do you like to work on? So we'll do this. Okay, boom, and it added it to the top. So we can we can tell that easily if I just change all of these to something else. Um, and then I add, boom, it's added to the top, right? And then if I change it to uh, the default or to bottom, right? So either way, it should add it to the bottom. Add it to the bottom, okay, nice. And let's refresh and then let's default. And uh, refresh, okay, add to the bottom, nice. Okay, cool. So we pretty much actually accomplished most of what we wanted. Uh, let's go back to our to do's in a second. So we're just going to say uh, fixed a bug with fixed a bug. Um, fixed bug. Uh, what, what do we want? What's the bug we fixed? 
Um, oh yeah, default to data o type uh, list uh, to list selector. Um, even when a position is specified. Okay, cool. I don't know, that's not really a bug description that we fix, that we put there, but whatever, it'll do. Okay, so is this, I think this is exactly as close as we need it to be to the example. Um, now, uh, hey Bloodluster, hey Varus Dave, uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah, this is pretty close to, to this example. Uh, and this is a full, so if, in case you guys are, are wondering or following along, this is a full web application in Remake. So this is all it takes to create a to-do list that will save itself. Uh, basically this to-do list. Um, Without styling, obviously, right? Like this doesn't have any style sheet with it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you get the uh, edit, the editing, deleting, and saving. Uh, I guess saving is editing. But <laughs> and then um, you get adding new to dos, um, all just with this, and it all saves to the currently logged in user. So this is all the code you had to write for an entire application. And I think once you understand it, you know, that all, all the uh, framework is doing is like adding an inline edit area when you specify this attribute and adding um, and being able to like serialize the data whenever it changes. Um, oh, and also being able to add a to do based on the name that's specified uh, in the uh, for each helper. Um, yeah, that's all you really need to understand in order to understand this app. So that that's I'm really proud of that actually. Um, that's a really strong example, I think. Okay, so let's go to our working on. So we uh, tested this, uh, and let's just specify what we tested. Um, so I was afraid that the for each item at the custom for each item helper wouldn't give us its render function. Hey Tade, hey as trophy, easy trophy. Uh, how are you guys doing? Um, I was afraid that the custom for each help uh, for each item helper wouldn't give us its render function um, if we didn't give it a list of data to render, but uh, it still did. Okay. Cool. So, done, done. Uh, new item behavior don't require a selector. If no selector is provided, default to adding the rendered partial into the nearest data O type list. Done. Editable popover can edit multiple fields at once. Okay, so this is kind of a cool thing. So, um, here we're going to attach a little extra data key here. And I'm going to just say, um, what should it be like? A profile name? Sure. Right, profile name, and we're gonna say like we're, we'll default to like I don't know your name, whatever, right? And then let's uh, and for some reason this this is attached to each to do. Um, okay, so now if I uh, add, click on this to edit it, it's gonna pop up two uh, fields instead, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess it would be nice if they were labeled. Um, but I'm not sure, right? I, I don't want to like, ex the only way I could label them is by exposing this key. And I'm not sure I want to do that. I think that's maybe a later option. I don't want to get into that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so you can edit both things at once. And if you change them, so if I say like ASD, uh, ASD, and I refresh the page. Oh, this one didn't save. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cause this, this one is in the, uh, sorry. It needs to be dynamic. So we need to say to do dot profile name. Okay, now it'll uh, be ASD. 
Boom. Nice. Now wait, I'm curious, what if we have this, so what if we create a new field and we say do dot, I don't know, uh, hello? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We say hello here. I think this is gonna, will this render undefined or an empty string? An empty string, oh, that's awesome. So then I can say hello, and now I can refresh, and it's there. But these other ones, default empty strings. Ooh, that's super nice. Wow, that's super nice. Okay, really made the right decision using handlebars here. Because um, I don't think other frameworks do that. I think other frameworks will just like render undefined, right? So then when you're like editing the text, those will be like undefined. And it's just like, what? I don't know, like, that's, that doesn't help me or my users. Um, but that's super nice. That makes the, boost, the bootstrapping of a project a lot easier because you can just like, put in whatever fields you want, right? And then it's gonna build up the data for you automa automatically. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, Forsaken GM, I uh, really appreciate it. Um, okay, so on to the next thing. So let's, um, we got editable, um, editing multiple fields at once. Let's delete this field for now because we don't actually need it. Um, and, what? Dota OG? Oh, I thought you were calling me an OG. Uh, oh, yeah, we haven't talked about it yet. We haven't talked, I, I don't know, I like haven't, I'm like kind of used to like not having anyone to talk about it with, but um, I know that's really sad. Uh, yeah, that was epic, right? They made it look like easy, like they were playing like a pub against like 4K, 4K players. Wasn't that crazy? I was so impressed. I need to like go watch those games again. Yeah, they're su super intense. Um, yeah. There's a, so <laughs> one of the players in OG was playing with a, a streamer, like a popular streamer today. And the streamer, uh, Gork, he's one of my favorite streamers. He asked uh, the member of OG, or sorry, sorry, the member of OG, uh, Seb, was like commenting on the game as they were playing it. And he was like, oh man, that guy just like threw away the game like 45 minutes in. He just like pushed out that lane and like just left himself exposed. Uh, that's a really sad ending to this game. Like that's a really disappointing ending. And then uh, the streamer was like, did you feel the same way about TI? <laughs> and uh, he, he like laughed for like a second. And then he's like, no, 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 that was a good story. Um, like it's not a sad story, but I think they must have kind of felt like that. Like it was like too easy or like the other teams were just kind of throwing it away because they were on a whole nother level, you know? Um, okay. So getting back to the code, make it so editable attribute doesn't require a value. They wrecked, I, I need to rewatch some of those games because like the Topsin plays like with the Monkey King and the Pugna, like so crazy. I just like, want to rewatch them. Um, cause I think I was like watching Miracle's perspective from a lot, for a lot of it. Cause I, I like, I really like Liquid. I wanted them to win, but, uh, yeah, I need to watch more like perspective plays from, uh, OGs cause they just crushed it. <laughs> so editable attribute doesn't require a value. It defaults to looking up the closest element with data, including the clicked element and it's all the keys on that element. Boom. Done. Okay. So now escape to close the popover. So let's delete the data first of all. Um, uh, yeah, so let's go into remake data, go into Kate and we're gonna delete all this. This is one of the things I really like about remake too now, now that it's kind of settled. So you can just go right in here and edit the database. And it's just JSON, that's <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, escape to close a popover. So if I add a to do and then I am here, I can't press escape to edit, uh, exit this, which is a minor usability hiccup. Uh, maybe not minor. It's actually like kind of expected, I think, at this point. So um, what we could do, yeah, I think we want to put in this editable. No, we don't want to put it in an editable attribute. We want to put it in 
I believe switch JS. You know what? I'm not sure. Hmm. So switch JS is this kind of underlying library that helps me turn things on and off on the page. So like this popover, for example. So it's kind of a lower level library. So the question is, do I want escape to cancel all switches? No. So yeah, it's not going to be in there. It's definitely going to be in, I think, the editable attribute code. <clears throat> okay, so I think what we can do is we can tell if one of these is on, right? So right here, switch on, remake edit. So this one's switched on. Okay, so what I want to do is add an event listener. Uh, listener for escape. And I misspelled that, but Google got it. Uh, okay, let's go to the not working one. Huh. Click key code. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Um, none of that. So here we're going to do on do we do key press or key press versus key down versus key up sure um, so the key key down and key up events represent keys being pressed or released well, the key press event represents a character being typed. Huh. Click, mouse up and mouse down. So wait, what did this other person have? So they suggested key, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Key press. So, yeah, I think that's right, right? Because you expect down and up. Okay, so key, we'll go with key press. So we'll say on key press. Um, function event and debugger. Okay, got it. Let's uh, refresh and press escape <laughs> it's not working key press i believe this should be listening to the body huh okay on key press add event listener key press Okay, deprecated, what? <laughs> Before input or key down, what? Why? Okay, whatever, key down. Oh, okay, so yeah, maybe that is something that we want. Okay, so let's do this. Escape, still not working. What? <laughs> I really don't know what's happening here. So, add event listener. Okay, let's try this. So we're gonna do document, add event listener, um, <coughs> console log one, two, three, event, Okay, and okay, yep, so we're getting it, but we're not getting the one from here. Uh, might be a bug, uh, like an error, nope.
Q down. Maybe it doesn't bubble. Maybe it doesn't bubble. No, it does bubble because I'm listening to the body. Bubbles, yes. <coughs> Wait, event handler on Q down. Q down. On. Oh, I think I need to specify. Maybe I need to specify a selector here. Okay, let's look at it. So career JS <coughs> um, on delegated events. Okay. Uh, delegated events, this one. Okay. So usage. <coughs> Um, okay, directly bound. So yeah, I think <laughs> I'm using this wrong because uh, why not just use uh, document, right? I don't really need this. I think it is, um, the, pro the problem is uh, that I needed a selector there. But since, yeah, I, I don't want to have a selector. I want to just say document add event listener key down event and then we'll do a debugger and then we will close all this stuff and refresh uh, and press escape. <laughs> okay. Escape. There we go. Okay, so now escape event key code is this event. Are there other ones? Alt key, control key. Is there an escape? There's no escape key. Meta key, repeat, shift key. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's only things that would modify other keys. Uh, but yeah, we, we want the key code anyways. Okay, so key code 27. So if uh, is equal to 27 um, and we're gonna say um, uh, what do we want I think we want oh shit oh yeah <laughs> we still have that debugger there okay um, so I think we want document query selector <laughs> this is going to be a fun one so we want um, oh geez whatever we'll just put star here for now because um, I need to actually get it oh geez why isn't this loading geez finally okay so we'll go in here inspect this so now we've got where is it on? Where does it say it's on? Here. So this one. So we're going to say document query slider remake edit. <clears throat> so we could have a tr triple selector here. Or we could say like this is at the beginning of it, I think. So if I say attribute Selector, CSS. Uh, no, I don't want this one. I never want W3 schools. Okay, this one. Ooh, ending, containing, matching. <laughs> Contains exactly white space separated begin with this oh, followed by a hyphen prefix by value so we could do this but I think we want to be exact here so I think what we're gonna do instead is this um, and we make edits. Okay, so we're gonna have without remove 
And we're going to have O with hide. Okay. So if it matches any of these, well, let's see if it currently does, because it, it currently should. We're going to get that. Otherwise, um, we're going to get null. Okay, so good. So if it's on the page, so now we have the escape key pressed, and uh, we have that um, element present on the page. So now we just want to turn it off. So how do we do that? Switches. <coughs> and let's go into switch.js, see what we're exporting. Uh, turn off, OK. <laughs> turn off. OK, and how do we what how do we do how do we use this thing? Switch object and action object. Oy. That's hard. Why couldn't it just be simple? OK, so is switched on. Oh, it actually checks if it's on or not. Oh, no. How do I just turn them all off? I don't know why I do all of this. This kind of seems crazy to me. Name matches, custom, oh, custom name matches. I don't know, maybe there's a reason for it. I'm sure there is. <clears throat> oh, and then we remove it if there are no, current, if there are no turned on ones anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Okay, so let's do query selector all instead. And uh, let's nest this. So we'll say um, let like turned on edit, edit, editable popovers. <coughs> and we're going to do this. And we can do an array from, because the worst that the query selector all is going to give us uh, is an empty array like thing. So we can do array from on it. Um, okay, so then we're going to say if this length is greater than zero, um, then So we could just remove the uh, the switch on attribute from them. That's a little dangerous, but no, I think it's fine. So we're yeah, I think we're gonna do it because there's no repercussions for now, <laughs> and um, I don't see there being a time when this is gonna matter. And if it does, I don't know. I mean. I'm going to have to figure it out, right? Uh, I'll have to use the, the official API instead. I guess, yeah, what would it take to use this? So, switch object. <coughs> Um, so switch object and add. this is the trigger object and this is the, the target one. No, this, that's not what I want. There must be something else that lets me huh. there's nothing else. Get actions data, process actions, name, name. Uh. Okay, 
So, okay, turn off. I need a name, an element. Okay, name and an element in the in the switch names. Okay, so let's see. So switch object. Oh, shoot! Sorry. Um, I am very sorry if you could hear that, which I'm sure you could. I tried to cover my mic. I sneeze very loudly. I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, so... Um, wow, that must have been pretty loud. Was that loud? Could you guys hear that? <coughs> so we need a uh, name and element on there. And custom name. If it has one. But we don't really need that. Yeah, jeez. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Um. Okay, so. Action object. What does action object need to have on it? I don't think it needs anything. Um, okay, this function really just needs a switch name and a switch element, uh, which can be passed in on the switch object. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, uh, I, re I really appreciate it, uh, you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no problem. I, I, yeah, I, sorry, I, like, thought I recognized your name for a second, and then I, um, I was like, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I saw him last time. But yeah, no, <laughs> geez, just been a week, it's felt like a long time. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, <coughs> how's, uh, how is everything going? Are you, uh, getting everything up and running? Yeah. Yeah. Life is a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. What, um, can, uh, can anyone here or me, or me, can we do anything to help out or anything? Um, but yeah, life, life gets really rocky sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta set your eyes on a, on a goal, far off goal, and just, um, kind of crawl towards it. Nice. I'm glad to hear that you're doing fine. Uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, let me know if uh, maybe you want to like brain brainstorm something, um, you know, about like how to, I don't know, get clients or if you want more feedback on your uh, on your business or anything, let me know. Um, I've been trying to start, I've been starting a business. I've been in the state of starting a business for the last three and a half years. So I might be able to help out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. No problem. It would be fun to talk with you because I think a lot of your um, interests are like overlap with kind of the business I'm trying to get into. So it would make sense for me, you know, to, to talk. Yeah. Ah, that would be awesome. I, I would love that, really. <coughs> cool. Yeah, just, just ping me uh, anytime. Um, okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back into this into this coding stuff, but uh, yeah, just just ping me or or let me know. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Um, and if if you want to, uh... okay, nice, cool, sounds good. And let let me know if you um, need any help uh, creating like a request creative page because I will like either help you myself or get someone to help you, and you can like you don't have to do anything; they'll just do everything for you. Um, but I don't know that <laughs> we can just talk about it or whatever. That's fine. Um, okay, so let's see. Switch object. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so we need the element and the name. So, switches. Awesome. Thank you, Hugh. Okay, so here we're going to do switches, turn off, and we're going to do uh, name is equal to um, Remake edit and element is going to be equal to L. So we are doing it actually the AP, the official way because it's not that hard. We just have to do it three times. <coughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Turn off, turn off, turn off. I think that should work. Um, I just added some docs here, refresh, and now I should be able to go in here and press escape. <gasps> what the heck, it just works? Oh man, that's so nice. Okay, so let's see, with, um, let's do data I added a ball and say with hide. So now refresh, edit. Ooh, we have, we have two remove buttons. Okay, so that uh, is a bug. Um, so I'm gonna look at remove. Okay, so th this, that's fine. We need one more selector here without remove. And we're going to say with hide display none. Okay, cool. That's, that was a bug. Refresh, edit, escape. It works. I don't know what this does. <laughs> what? Wait, what did it just do? Did hide just remove it from the page? What does hide do? <laughs> I actually don't know what hide does. Um, hide, hide. Hide, hide. I actually, I really don't know what hide does. Oh, it's going to be in the um, remove, remove and hide. Okay, so hide, useful for hiding items the user doesn't want visible, but allowing them to add them back later. Okay, finds the closest one. Oh, so it just removes the, find the nearest ancestor element that has the attribute, did I think, loop through the data keys and set all their values to empty strings, and then save all the data as empty strings. So yeah, it just undoes this. Huh, very interesting. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, that's useful. Okay, so um, I guess I should mention this here. So data, I editable, trigger, uh, popover with um, three buttons. 
uh, remove, cancel, and save. Um, data I editable without remove, uh, trigger pop over with two buttons, uh, cancel and save. And data I editable with hide, trigger pop over with three buttons, remove, cancel, and save. But the remove button <coughs> uh, is special. Um, it doesn't remove an element. Uh, It just um, sets all its data keys to empty strings. Okie dokie. Cool, cool, cool. So now I feel like that's better documented, um, at least in the code. <coughs> okay, so we've got with hide working, and there's one more. Without remove. So let's see if this works too. Uh, add to do. Um, that looks like the saving works and the escape works. Nice. Okay, so uh, we fixed a bug. Uh, data or let's say like hi uh editable pop over with hide button um pop over doesn't get two remove buttons uh fixes so we'll say um Pressing escape closes editable popovers and fixes. And then fix a bug editable popover uh, with a hide button doesn't get two remove buttons, just one. Okay, cool. Got that. Added more documentation. And we're going to reset this back to the default. So we're only editing two files. Okie dokie. Nice. We'll push that out. <coughs> um, cool, cool, cool. So let's go back to our Trello and we're done with this. Okay, cool. So we have a few more things to do. Um, and I'll probably be streaming for uh, one more hour. And um, I'm going to be right back. Hey, S1 Faka, uh, welcome to the chat. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Just going to stop by the restroom and then we will continue working on the rest of these things.
hello and um oh no this is all messed up i don't know why every time i open this app it messes up the layout okay cool <laughs> and this one again like i just finished i just fixed this very weird. Okay, let's maybe center this. Okay. I don't know, I don't think that did anything. Center to screen. Okay, it worked that time. Maybe I can save this or something? Lock preview. I need to look this up real quick. Okay, OBS. It, it changes every time. Layout. Changes. Huh, how do I... It won't let me click anything. Okay. The browser source seems to change size whenever you switch to a scene that doesn't contain the browser source and then back. In order <coughs> for the source to not change size, you need to include it in every scene you use. Oh my goodness. Yeah, hey, Obliv Oblivionaire. Ob yeah, how are you doing? Oh, I get that. Click on the sources that are moving and edit, transform, make sure to only fit to the size you need. Make sure to click the close Close on the pop-up menu. If you don't, it won't save what you set. I suggest messing with the edit transform and seeing what works best. Click on the sources that are moving and edit transform. Make sure to only fit to the size you need. Okay, so <clears throat> here, oops, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Use custom frame rate. <clears throat> How do I, where's that edit transform thing? Hmm, <laughs> oh no, it's done, it's over there now. Well, um, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, see, yeah, it is. It's whenever I switch. Huh. So I guess I could just never use the other scenes or I could add these <coughs> there as well. Huh. 
<clears throat> right click your browser source, transform, fit to screen. This one's supposed to occupy the whole canvas. Manually resize it, desired size. Oh, okay. So transform. Wait, where is it? Edit form, transforms edit form. Oh, edit transform. That's what they're probably meant. Okay. Bounding box. Stretch to bounds. Sure. Nope, <laughs> I didn't want that one. Sketch to scale to outer bounds. I didn't want that at all. Eh, I don't know. I guess maybe I just won't switch away. Maybe I just won't. I'll never go to another scene. Okay, so. Whatever. No sub emotes? No, no sub emotes. Uh, how, do, how do I get that working? Um, I don't, I don't want to focus on that right now, but if you link me to an article, I'll, I'll try to figure it out for next time. <coughs> um, okay, so protect from common nouns and current routes from being used as usernames. Okay, so right now, um, <coughs> whenever you log in and you're able to edit your app, you're at uh, the website name uh, slash your user username. So, for example, like that. Which means that if you want an about page, if you want your app to have an about page, or you want it to have a contact us page, if a user names themselves contact us, you're going to have to choose whether to render your own page or to render the username, or the user's page. <coughs> so, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Um, so instead of that, I would just like to filter out a bunch of common nouns and not allow users to pick those as usernames. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> I swear, this is actually going to be kind of fun. OK, so let's go into an older project that I have. Uh, so we're going to Artify to Real App. Okay. And we're going to go into lib can use username. And we have load JSON file and we load data usernames. Uh, okay. Reserved. So here, these are all our. Uh, reserved usernames. And we're going to save this here. So reserved, re reserved usernames. Okay, and we're just gonna first of all search to see if all of our current routes are kind of covered. So we're going to project files and we go into pages. We have index, login, sign up, and to do list. So let's search for index. We don't have index. Uh, GHI. So we do, I think we do want index in here. Um, not that we're going to actually render. Not there, but it's just good to have. Uh, login, we definitely want that. Uh, sign up. So we actually put sign here. And to do. 
We don't have to do here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we should we prevent people from signing up with a username that starts with to do just because to do apps might be created with us? I guess we will. It's kind of sad. So <clears throat> this is um, this is a list of all of the nouns that you can't use when you're signing up for a, a username. So about account action add admin agree. I'm actually going to read through all of these. I'm sorry, guys. Alert API. I mean, the thing about this one is like, what if someone has like the name Apiary or something, right? Like that's kind of a cool username. Right? But I'm not letting them choose a username that starts with any of these. <sighs> that kind of sucks. Maybe we can have a reserved... I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. The other option is to... Just have them be exact matches. Yeah. I guess exact matches make sense. Okay, let's let's do exact mas matches only. But I mean, <clears throat> there are gonna be people that are gonna like create like a username that's like, I don't know, account, password, and that's just gonna suck. Okay, how about, yeah, we're gonna have two different lists. <laughs> so reserved usernames. Um, so we're gonna have usernames can't start with, and then JSON, and then we're also gonna have uh, Usernames can't be exactly uh, username words. We'll just say reserved words. I don't know. Usernames can't start with and username res reserved. Uh, username can't be these words. Okay. So about, I think the, this is fine. I was like about and about us. <laughs> I know, right? That's very exact. Uh, account is definitely going to be uh, reserved. So this is going to be this one and let's copy this into can't start with so the default is going to be can't start with um let's undo this till we get back to the beginning oh man right here okay so these are the two that we're going to be working with so anything that uh it just can't oh no shoot <laughs> i wanted the opposite okay uh there we go. Okay, can't start with. Oh, well, maybe we maybe this should be can't include, right? You can't even have a username that has account in it. I like that. Uh, so let's instead of start with and let's delete that thing. We don't need it. Uh, can't include. Okay. Boom. So you can't even have a username that includes the word account. I like that. Um, action, that's fine. I don't care if your name like flash action or whatever, but it just can't be action exactly. Or add, admin, nope, none, zero. Zero tolerance, <laughs> just having it be like, I don't care if your name's like John Johnny admin, you can't have that. Um, agree, that's fine, alert. API, yeah, as long as it's not API. Oh, and yeah, okay, we got about us. Arguments, 
article article's fine but like just not exactly article uh artisfy i don't know if i really need to protect against artisfy uh artist whatever i'm <laughs> i'll leave uh whatever you can have it okay Assets, asset, and we'll say assets too. Uh, author and authors. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe we pluralize all of these words by default. Yeah, let's pluralize. Okay, so we need to write this in a to do. Pluralize all words in username can't be these words. So we'll do this in the code because we, do, we don't want to pluralize everything here. Okay, so assets, asset, and we'll just add an S to the end. We'll do like really dumb pluralization. Uh, before bind blog break. Browser buffer build bundle cache callback uh, callback. I feel like whatever you can't have any callback. Uh, cancel cache cache. Yeah, whatever you can have cache. I guess I don't know. Uh, cancel canvas. Catch category. Uh, we do want to actually let's pluralize that one. Categories change chart check class client collection column command. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Commission commit common compile compete component compose compute config confirm connect contact this is like some really great asmr right for you guys contact contain content contract control controller convert copy count create i don't know about create uh create i think create is reserved totally reserved you can't even have a word uh, that has it in it creative you can have that totally uh, crop current data eh I don't know yeah let's just leave it like that date deliver describe data if you want like admin data admin dash data well you can't have admin anyways but if you want like user dash data yeah, whatever. I'll leave it. It's just only if it's exact. Date deliver. Oh, actually, you know what? A good one. Let's uh, let's keep user. Completely reserved. Cause who names themselves? You know, like giraffe user or whatever, right? That's crazy. I don't know. I, I guess that's not that crazy, but um. It'll just it'll just be nice to be able to like know you can create any routes with user in them and you'll be fine. Uh, are there any other things like that? Comment. I think comment actually might be one because it's just such a common thing, you know, in a in a web application that you you might want routes based on it. Um, yeah, category and categories too, I guess. They're just nice to have, as well as blog. Who's gonna name themselves blog if they're not trying to, well, I don't know. You might, right? Like your brand name might be like David blog or something. So you might, but yeah, I think that's reserved. Add, I don't know. I, it's really weird to reserve this word completely, right? That's kind of weird. Okay, cool. So what were we up to, data? Delivered, oh wait, no, we were past that, weren't we? No, okay. Destroy, yeah, that's fine. We're just talking about front-end routes, right? Things that are gonna to respond to get requests and render pages, right? Or no, I guess it's gonna be all kinds of routes. 
Okay, digital direct disable. Discover, display, document, download. Yeah, download's gonna be reserved. Um, completely. Drop, element, email. Yeah, email's gonna be reserved. Completely. Enable, error, error, same thing, gonna be reserved. Uh, event, example, exist, expect, explain, export, extend, fact, feedback, uh, field, file, find, follow, form, format, function, generate, get, give, handle, handler, header, helper, hidden, host, how, identity, identify, I guess. Uh, fire. Uh, we don't really need these anymore. Image. That's going to be reserved completely. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, so we're making two lists. Um, so in our, in our, in our apps and remake apps, you get a username, uh, that looks like this, uh, you know, the website and then like that, right? So the username's at the root level. And a lot of apps do this. Twitter does this. I think Facebook does this. A lot of apps will do this. They'll just give you a username at the, the root path. However, we have a lot of other pages, right? So what if we wanted an about page? Uh, we don't want the user to take that. So we have two lists here. One are completely reserved, off-limits words that can't even be part of your username. So things like admin, right? We don't want like John the admin, you know, like masquerading as a, as a user and being like, oh yeah, of course, you know, I own this site, you know, my name's admin, right? And then these ones are ones that can't be, <laughs> it's true, yeah. Um, and then these ones that are just exact matches that can't be taken, right? So this includes stuff like about and about us. Um, but like you can have, if your name is like, I don't know, aboutery, you can have that name, right? Um, these are just exact matches. Uh, important, include index, inform, input. I think input I might keep. A buffer. Uh, a buffer. Is buffer a common like route name? I haven't blocked it yet. You could actually be it currently. Inquiry. Uh, yeah, you could do buff. You could be Buffy. Yeah, that's an awesome show. Um, item join knowledge landing load. Log login. I think login and sign up are going to be off limits. Uh, message, method, name, new, notice, null, object, I think option is going to be reserved, undefined, I don't think it is reserved, it might be, actually, no, I think it is, I know you're going to have to wait and find out, you know, we're almost there, uh, option, so we don't need options here because we're completely reserving option, <clears throat> um, output pack page, yeah, I want to save page because at the very least you should be able to namespace all of your, oh wait, page, no, because what if you have like page something, right? No, okay, we're not going to save page, right? Page is a name, okay, but at least by putting it in this one, you'll be able to namespace your pages, so you'll be able to say like my site slash page slash whatever you want, and you'll be fine because you'll know page is reserved. Uh, param, parse, password. Password, you are completely reserved. Uh, pattern, pay, pay. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll leave that in. Platform, popular, prefer, preview, privacy, private, process, profile, profile, we're gonna keep that completely. Uh, progress, project, provide, public. I think we keep public too. I don't know. 
uh, publish, record, reference, remove, rename, report, request, require, reset, resource, respond, response, restore, result, return, review, route, schedule, schema, scope, script, search, secret, secret. We'll keep secret. Eh, no, we won't, actually. I like the idea of people having secret in their name. Sell, send, server, service, services. So it's going to be um, uh, pluralized anyways. Set, setting, shop, sign, signal, sound, start, static, status, store, submit, success, support, switch. What was the one you asked about? Undefined. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, I don't think we have it. It's a good catch. Uh, success, support, switch, table, target, template, terms, thank, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Switch, table, target, template, terms, um, terms and conditions. Um, do I build Easter eggs in my code and application? Uh, we, well, I think it depends on how you look at it. Uh, no, not intentionally. However, I like this framework, for example, I've built so much incredibly powerful functionality into it implemented in like kind of like low level ways most of the time that there's no way anyone without studying this framework for like a year is going to understand everything and for a lot of it right now you actually have to look in the source code to understand it um, so even though there are no intentional easter eggs there i think there definitely are easter eggs but uh, I am not against it. I, I think Easter eggs are great. Um, however, I would say that I think Easter eggs in a lot of cases are developers who are bored and feeling creatively suffocated. Uh, so they express themselves in the code. But I am not working for anyone with this project, right? I can do whatever the heck I want. So I don't really need to sneak anything in there, you know, like I don't need to sneak a flight simulator into Excel. I don't need to sneak, you know, like a secret cave room into Grand Theft Auto. Like I, um, I can put whatever I want into this and no one can tell me not to. So I feel like there's less of a reason for me to actually sneak Easter eggs into this. Although in general, I do like the idea and I've actually thought about creating a website that was like just like a regular website, but like it had just like a tunnel of Easter eggs that would take you on like a giant mission. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool idea. I forget what I said about the creative, like the being stifled of creative expression. I think it's a really creative thing to do. I think, yeah, I would like to include more. Um, I don't know, I think I got a little defensive because I honestly, I do think it's a creative thing and I was like, wow, why haven't I ever done that or thought of that before? And it's probably because I'm just so focused on the work tasks that I'm not really having as much fun as I probably could be. Yeah, so thank you Android for reminding my, me that I should probably be having more fun. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> No, it's good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, total trigger type update. Oh, we want undefined and OP. Nice. Um, you know, Android, if you want to be um, involved in some early discussions about a deployment service that uh, we're building for Remake, let me know. And uh, maybe, you know, we can find time to get you on one of the calls uh, with with some of the team, because um, I'm building out a very, very small team right now. <laughs> uh, it's two people, three people, including me, um, and we're building out a deployment service for Remake. 
Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think about that. Uh, it is, it's the A-team. Um, deployment as in servers. Um, yeah, so we're going to, for right now, it's not going to be like a scalable service. It's just going to be a single um, a single server. So it's going to be like a DigitalOcean server. And then there's going to be a command line tool. And you're going to say something like remake sign up. And you're going to put in your email address and password. You're going to be signed up for an account. It's going to create an API key on your local machine. And then you're going to say like, remake create project and then it'll create a project and then you can go into that project and say remake deploy and then it's going to deploy your project to uh, your project subdomain custom subdomain on uh, remakeapps.com so it'll be like your app dot remakeapps.com and then you'll be able to load up your app there have people sign up show it off to people and it'll just have been a few commands to create your own special remake app um, and then you uh, eventually, I don't know if it's going to be within like the next month and a half, but I hope it will, you'll be able to assign a custom domain to that application so that you can have your app.com go there. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a little, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff uh, to think about. Um, and it's a big project, so I don't know how far we'll get, but I'm, I'm going to try to get pretty far uh, with it, you know, like supporting logging in, signing up, deploying, uh, downloading your backed up data, uh, and subdomains and custom subdomains. I think that that will be the key, the core of it. Okay, so now we have these two files and we're gonna copy them into a uh, remake framework. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, let me know. So my free days are Thursdays, Fridays, and then I have a little time on the weekend, but I, I don't really like working on the weekend. Um, but, I, you know, I can also do, like, evenings. Uh, so just let me know what works for you, and we'll try to make it work. Uh, okay. Okay. Config. Yeah, where I uh, forget where you are. Are you in Canada? A lot of the viewers are in Canada, uh, but I forget. You are right. Okay, so um, so here we're going to create a function, and we're going to say. Uh, is, oh, you live in the Netherlands. Okay. Netherlands time. Um, so it's 9 p.m. right there. So you're six, you're six hours ahead of me. Um, that's, that's fine. So I was actually a, um, one of the, the freelancer I am working with, uh, on this project with he lives um, is it the same time zone I think he lives in the same time zone where does he live uh, I forgot it's um oh I think it was GMT plus two but I'm I can't remember how do I not know? Uh, let's go to maps.google.com and let's see if I can remember. So let's go to the Netherlands and uh, wow, Norway. See, where was he? Wow, the globe actually like rotates as you drag. How cool! <laughs> this is like the coolest web technology I've ever fucking seen. Um, okay, anyways, uh, Netherlands, Luxembourg. Was he here? Oh, I think 
Maybe he's in Estonia. I don't know. I could just look it up real quick. Let me, um, yeah, I'll just go, I'll just, or no, maybe it's not here. Bucharest. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, Romania. So that's probably not the same. Oh, it might be the same. Uh, wait, Netherlands. It's probably not the same time zone. So let's see. Bucharest. Plus three. But it's pretty similar. Come on, give me credit. It's not... It's, <laughs> no, but really, I don't know the world. How do I just, like, not know the world? I, like, have no understanding about how big the world is at all. Uh, so, yeah, so anyways, yeah, I mean, it's actually even harder for me to contact him. So what we're planning is to, to talk at 9 a.m. Uh, by time, which is seven hours ahead for him. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 4 p.m. for him. So if you're available 4 p.m. some days, uh, you can maybe join in on some of our, our calls or something. If you're okay with um, talking with a uh, know-nothing, uh, unworldly American, <laughs> uh, then yeah, then we could maybe, maybe do something. Okay, so is reserved word, is reserved route, okay, uh, so we're gonna, we created this file, and we're gonna load in two JSON files, so, JSON file, so we got this one, and read file sync, yeah, this is fine. Do, do, do. Um, uh, what did you just say? What is your time zone? I'm I'm uh, Eastern, so I'm I'm in Boston. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so we want path to path. And we're going to do path, join, uh, underscore, underscore, dir name. Okay. And, um, okay, awesome. Yeah, I think, uh, awesome. So, yeah, let's, uh, do a call sometime. Mm. I could do tomorrow briefly, but if not, let's do next Thursday or Friday. Uh, we can, yeah, either one works. Both of those work. And we can just talk about it. It's not like, you know, like I'm, I, uh, yeah, we could just talk about it. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I think I'm free. Actually, let me not show my calendar to the world. Um, I'm gonna just load it up on my phone real quick. So I have a call, oh, I have a call tomorrow at nine. Um, if you wanna do a quick one, I could do 10 a.m. tomorrow, uh, but I wanna stream tomorrow, so yeah, what do you think? What do you think? 10 a.m. tomorrow? Uh, my time, which is six hours forward for you. 4 p.m.? Okay, not tomorrow. Yeah, totally makes sense. Okay, so yeah, just uh, ping me on Discord and we can set up a time for like next week. That makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna do dot dot slash and then config. And then uh, we don't have these files in here yet. So we want to go in here and pick paste. Copy, paste. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're gonna copy this dot JSON. Do I need the JSON? Oh no. Shoot. Don't say that. Okay, so do I need the I think I do need JSON in the in the route. Um JSON file. Oh, I don't even use it here. Whatever, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. JSON file. I don't use it here. Um, read file. Okay, yep, of course. I need the JSON in the route. Uh, yep, that totally makes sense. Okay, so we're going to say username can't be these words equals and then we're going to say uh, we're going to copy this actually and say uh, username what's the other one can't include uh, we'll say these words just to make it consistent so here can't include these words okay and then let's um, console log uh, this and this okay and then inside of uh, where do we want to actually do this inside the user accounts yeah um, so we're gonna import um, is reserved route is reserved route from uh, the same directory slash is reserved route and uh, I think that's all we want to do, but we can actually just console log. Um, and we can put in like John, <laughs> uh, but that's not going to actually be something that we are doing yet. So we're going to do function and we'll do export function is reserved route and we'll return uh, false okay nice oh, plus in the console log not there oh comma thank you um, okay so here <laughs> nice, and we got it. Wait, why is it on multiple lines? Oh, I guess this is how it displays arrays. If they're small enough, if like if the items are small enough, it just loop, it just creates columns for them. That's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, is reserve route false? Okay, nice. So. Um, Probably have a specification for this, <laughs> but whatever. We're not going to worry about it right now. Um, so is reserved route. Uh, so we need to pluralize all of the words <laughs> in in um, in can't be these words. So okay. So we're going to say, oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Can't be these words. So we're gonna say let username can't be these words uh, pluralized, or we'll say these pluralized words. Plur <laughs> it's a little weird. And we'll we'll say username can't be these words map, and we'll say w w plus 
S. <laughs> it's the worst pluralization ever. Um, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we know we've got this. Um, I guess we can console log this too, just for fun. Uh, so now, yep, about, alerts, authors, com computes, contains, converts, nice. We're pretty much done. Okay, so we will say word and so username can't be these words. So what do we want? We want to say um, let like word formatted equal word to lowercase. I guess I could just say <laughs> word lowercase uh, case and these are definitely all lowercase already. Definitely, definitely. Okay, cool. And we're gonna say uh, da, 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 da. for var i equals zero. Uh, okay, wait, actually. Jeez. Oh, okay, so we're, we want to compute the lengths for these ahead of time because we don't want to do it in every loop of the for loop. So we're going to do, um, we're going to copy these and we're going to do uh, length equals length. Okay, and then we're going to say uh, user. Uh, <laughs> Okay, i is less than this, and then i plus plus. So this is the first one we're going to go through. And actually, we don't need the lengths for this because we already got the lengths for this. And they're the same, they're the same length. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, just to be explicit, let's just set it there. This will make the code easier to read. Um, so we're going to do this. We're going to loop through all of these. Uh, hey, Fat Tut B and Marcus E92. How are you guys doing? And then we're going to do this, I think, one more time, right? Yeah. So we're going to do this one more time for username. Can't include these words. Okay, nice. So username can't be these words. And then we're gonna do I. So this is gonna give us um, the word. And we're gonna say word equals this. Oh, sorry, word lowercase. Um, I guess it's fine if we just overwrite word here, right? Yeah, that's fine. Because it's just locally, it's just here. It's not going to affect any outer scope. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can just work with word. Okay, so if word equals username can't be these words, I, so we're going to say if one of these then return true. Uh, let's say is reserved word. <laughs> I like that better. Okay, so we'll say is reserved word, is reserved word, and is reserved word. Okay, we'll save that and save this. This is probably going to throw an error right now, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got it for that. We've got it for uh, this one, right? And I don't think there's a quicker way of going through this. Um, and finally, we're going to return false. Okay, and we need to do this one too. So username can't include these words. So now this is a hard one. So now we're going to say word includes 
this. Uh, I mean, it's not the hard one in terms of like writing the code. It's just the hard one in terms of um, like the, the, I guess the required processing power. But luckily these, this list of words is smaller, right? So username can't include these words. If we look here, it's just these. It's just uh, like 20 or something. And we did this, so we can close that. Um, can't include. So it's, yeah, it's just uh, exactly 20. Exactly 20. So we're just looping through 20. That's fine, that's not a big deal. I think this should happen all pretty quickly. So let's uh, save this, I guess. And see, and uh, let's close this. Or sorry, remove that. Reserve word false. Okay, so now if um, if I say can't be these words and I put in John up here, res it's a reserve word now. And if I put in J O over here, it's a reserve word. Uh, wait, it's not a reserve word. <laughs> wait, what's? It's his reserve word. False. J O. Oh uh, wait, I think I messed up my logic. <laughs> this is why I do uh, any kind of testing. If word includes, oh no, wait, that should, can't include these words. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> Zero. Um, Okay, so tr it is a reserve word now. Um, I'm gonna answer that question in one second. Okay, so I'm gonna put like HN here. Uh, true, it's a reserve word. If I delete this, it's no longer a reserve word. False, okay, and then let's just ch ch check like JO. This shouldn't make it a reserve word, so it should still be false and putting the exact, it should be true, it is a reserve word. Okay, awesome. So the question is, um, question, why not merge those three files with reserved names to one file and sort them in an object? So there's a difference between this JSON file and this JSON file. Um, this, so this one, the, the username can't be any of these words exactly. So we're comparing them exactly to each other. So like if you try to sign up with a username called upgrade, you can't do it. But if you sign in with a username called upgrade unicorn, you can, because that's not in this list uh, right now, right? Um, but these usernames are completely, completely blocked. So if you have a username of account, that's blocked. But if you have a username of account dash uh, unicorn, that's also blocked. You can't even think about having these words in your, us in your username. Um, and they're kind of like, you know, important words like admin and password. And we'll probably add more of these as time goes on. Um, so that's the reason we can't like merge these two is because we need to handle them differently. So like here, we're, we're doing an equal, right? And then here we're doing an includes. Um, now as to like, why can't we just like merge these ones, the pluralized one and the uh, original one? So like, why not just pluralize? So like, we're pluralizing all of these words in the code instead of doing it in line here. And the thing is, is that we're only pluralizing them once when the application starts. So um, when this file's included, like when, yeah, when this is included somewhere else, we're processing everything here once, and then this is all being stored in memory. So there's actually very little overhead, I think, to processing these in the code. And then it makes our life easier in the future because um, we don't have to have the pluralized words in here, right? We can just rely on them being generated for us. Uh, so it's like very, very, very little code overhead. Uh, sorry, very, very little like processing time overhead. Um, for the benefit of having these automatically uh, pluralized without us thinking about it.
Um, so that's why. That's why we have them all separate. And then as far as having three different loops here, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's pretty much the same as, like once we have these all in memory, right, which we're going to have as soon as the app starts for the first time, once we have these all in memory, um, we uh, doing three loops as opposed to one loop, it's the same amount of processing power, as far as I know. Because um, we're, like, we're still looping through every item, we're just looping through it separately, so I think, uh, I think it's the same amount of processing, or processing time, yeah. And, and memory, probably. Probably a very similar amount of memory. Oh, and I just I put zero here instead of I. This is, that's a huge problem. Uh, does that make sense? Um, okay, so here I'm going to say account unicorn. And it's going to say true. Okay, and then I'm going to say uh, password. Or like, how about like unicorn uh, password uh, orange. That's going to say true. Okay, nice. So it's a reserved word because it has password in it. You can't have any username with password in it. Okay, so now we're going to say when you're creating a username, username uh, get user data. It's not there. It's not there. Um, here we go. Please enter your username. Starts with. Okay. And then we're going to say uh, if is reserved word. Um, and we're going to say username. Oh, geez. I just realized that I'm not like, uh, like people can create a username like John with a capital J and then they can create a username with a lowercase J and they're different users. That might be a problem in the long run. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's add that to the open issues and be done with it for now. Um, I think currently you can create a user name with a different case and it will treat it like a new user. For example, John and John are different. Um, this is a problem <laughs> and uh, these should be the same user. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna say if is reserved word, then we're going to do one of these. So we're gonna flash uh, your username. Oh, you know what would be interesting? To return the actual word. I don't think that's a security risk, is it? I don't think it is. Hmm. So we're going to say, I think we're going to say is reserved true and then word uh, we'll say reserved word is equal to um, this. Okay. Reserved word.
Okay. Um, and this one. Okay. So uh, now we have to say is reserved word dot. That's just annoying. <laughs> it just makes it a little bit weirder. I have an API. Is reserved word. Um, ooh, how about like get reserved word info, right? That's a little bit cleaner, a little bit clearer. Um, get reserved word info, rename, get reserved uh, word info, and then here, get reserved. Uh, get, oops, get reserved word info. Okay. And then we're going to say is reserved. Okay. So we'll say reserved word info equals this. And then we're going to say if it's reserved. Then we're going to say your username uh, contains the reserved word reserved word info dot reserved word. Um, Uh, can't, okay, your username can't contain the reserved word this. Okay, and then redirect. Okie dokie, so now if we go log out and we try to sign up and we sign up with account unicorn and we type in whatever password, <laughs> it signs us up <laughs> just like we wanted it to. Oh my goodness, what happened? Uh, console log. One, two, three, reserve word info. Okay, refresh. Log out. Uh, sign up. Account. Walrus. Um, oh, it didn't even touch it. Uh, well, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if it's that much more efficient. I guess it's nicer for like passing it around places. But I also like the idea of just like having a JSON file with a list of words. Like I don't like having, I don't like the idea of having an object with like nested lists. It feels a tiny bit messier to me. It's, it's not a bad idea. It, it would actually be a lot easier to pass around and it would be more efficient because reading the file system is obviously a little expensive, but since we're only reading the file system right when the app starts, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so it's, ne it's never touching this. Oh, it's, be it's because it's only going here, if that's true. Okay, so I guess now the question is, do we want this reserved word thing to be um, to be before or after the username token, a taken thing? Uh, what's like more likely to happen? Is them hitting a reserved word or having a username taken? I think reserved word. Okay, so let's save that. Now it should be working. So let's say account Kate. Katie, invalid username or password. 
What? Uh, that doesn't give me much info. Invalid username or password. What? Oh, that's a... That, oh, it's because I tried to log in. Jeez. Okay. Account... Uh, Jerry. Okay. There we go. Your username can't contain the reserved word account. That's not bad, right? I don't know if... I don't think that's a bad error message, right? And we'll put this in quotes. Okay, refresh. And now if I try to put in password, your username can't contain the reserve word password. Um, this and then what's another one I, I tried to keep? Can't include these words. Create. So I can't even, you can't even have this username. That's a little silly. Ah, create shouldn't be one. I think create could just be a reserved word. Create. L M N O P Q R. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so we'll save this. Wait for the server to refresh, and you will be able to sign up with us now. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, do all these make sense? Blog, like do I want you to be able to sign up if you have a username called like this and then blog? I do kind of. Yeah, okay, we'll just add this to the LMNOP, uh, IJK, <laughs> uh, okay, LMNOP, wait, it comes after IJKL, there we go. Um, okay, callback, category, categories, hmm. I don't know, a lot of, like, if they're not dangerous, I don't actually want them in the, like, pre prevent everything place, you know? Like, they're not, if they're not dangerous, it's like, okay, you might have to figure something out, right? But, like, they're not dangerous. Comment. Yeah, we can, we can move comment in here, too. I feel like limiting users too much is a, like a really bad idea. Uh, callback, that's fine. Callback is like a pretty technical term. I'm fine with having that here. Download to, I guess, email error image? No. I think image can be in here. Oh, I do already have it in here, but uh, yeah. Okay. Image input. Nah, I think in input can be in here too. I'm like going back on a lot of this stuff. But it's good to have this this stuff here. Uh, PQR. Okay. It's good to just like have the option, you know? Option. Yeah, that's fine. Profile, public. Public? Nah, public I don't think should be here. Uh, public. Okay, so that's just a reserve word. Upload in user. Yeah, this is fine. And this also makes it, the code slightly more efficient, but that's not the main thing. I just want people to have more freedom, you know? Like, if you want to have a username, like your username be blah, 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 blog, I'm kind of okay with that, you know? Or blog, whatever, you know? Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done for today. We did so much today. I'm really, really happy with how much uh, I was able to get done. And I appreciate all the help and the like, helping me brainstorm and think through this stuff. And Android, I really hope that we can connect next week or something. That would be really cool to 
work with you even even just in the brainstorming phase you know like that would be pretty cool oop I missed this one uh, that's not good so here we want to return false okay <laughs> I didn't even check one successful one before I was going to stop today. Uh, okay, and the app didn't error out. Okay, nice. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Totally. Um, okay, so we're, let's use our Trello goal as the, the name for this commit. So we're protect from common nouns and, and current roots from being used as usernames. Okay, nice. So there's only like, like three more things before, or two more things, and they're super, super small. Like I think this is like a 20 minute project, and then this is like a 20 minute project. So before we get to the docs, so then that's building out the documentation site, like sharing it, making a quick start video, doing like all these kind of like, you know, publishing stuff. I think I do need one example app, uh, but I think I can maybe make that la later. Yeah, I'll make that later. Um, but like, I yeah, there's already like the starter example you know like oh and i forgot to turn this turn back the clock on this Oof. so <laughs> yeah this is now a basic to do list that's unfortunate okay so i yeah i need to i want to move this back actually before we start stop um so this is in index here okay h2 to the button okay Nice, and wait, what? To yeah, this should be nested. Where does this connect? This connects with this one. Oh, I think, yeah, I'm just missing. Okay, I'm just missing a uh, closing div. So this connects with this one and this. This connects with this one. This connects with this. Okay, nice. Okay, so now if I refresh, I should be back to this. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, it's because they start with the normal data. That makes sense. So now I can go in, I can check this off, I can refresh, and it works. Okay, nice, so I'm back to the working to-dos app. Uh, back to the app with to-do lists. Okay, nice, that's good. Okay, so I am out for today. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and chatting and I will be on tomorrow probably around a similar time. So probably around noon to around like three or four. I hope to see you there and uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, bye you guys. Yeah, have a great day. Bye.